Hi everyone! So today I'm going to do an updated collection video. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and show you kind of the area where I film. I'm going to go into some details about the lighting that I have because I have changed up my lighting in recent times and I'll show you um, you know an updated collection because my collection has expanded and I've just yesterday actually went through the whole thing and reorganized everything, cleaned everything up and basically just redid the whole thing so I'll go ahead and show you that. So just as a little disclaimer obviously this is like a lot of makeup this is way more than I guess the average person would ever need but you know just understand that you know I do buy a lot of things especially for YouTube some things I have sent to me um, by PR companies and stuff like that and this is really just like a big passion of mine so that's why I do have a lot. So first I'll go ahead and show you what's on the table. So here are makeup brushes. Um, these are kind of my like larger face brushes. There's blush brushes in here, powder brushes, my foundation brushes, pretty much all my most frequently used brushes. I know there's a lot but I do use almost all of these very regularly. These two are my like eye brushes so I have these are all like blending brushes except for these two these are nail art brushes but these are all basically blending brushes concealer brushes sort of the more fluffier brushes but all eye stuff also these ones and these are smaller eye brushes so these are like things like angled liners flat shaders and then these are just various things these are like a variety of I don't know eyeliners that didn't really you know, have much of a space. Um, they're kind of like the chunkier pencils. These are all the mascaras that I'm currently using, so I like to switch up like different mascaras because different mascaras do have different, you know, effects. And then this is all eyebrow stuff. So these are like, well, scissors for trimming eyebrow hairs. Um, these are eyebrow pencils. Um, this is for my eyebrow, like the eyebrow brush that I use. Um, this is eyebrow gel and I use like a clean mascara spoolie to, um, you know, groom them and stuff like that. And this is an eyebrow uh, for a like, spatula if I have to cover my eyebrow. And this is random pencils. So these are things like lip liners, um, you know, coal pencils, colored pencils. And then I have my tweezers on there. And then over here, this is the tripod that I use for filming my videos. Here is Ermine. She came out with the Fafi collection. So this was like a collector's item. It's like this little plastic doll. And then this is my mirror that I use for close up. So I have like a mirror that I have very close to my face so I can really see what I'm doing. And I have my clicker here for my remote. This is brush. This ba in the back here is matte brush cleanser. And this is my um, shampoo for cleaning my makeup brushes. I purchased this jar. I don't remember where. I think it was Ikea. And this is just makeup sponges, cosmetic sponges, and Q-tips. So I like to keep those in there so they don't get dusty. And then obviously Kleenex. This is, I just keep these separate. These are the mascaras that I bought recently when I was in the States because I want to do like a drugstore mascara test. So I'm just keeping those separately for now. And back is, here is a snail looking tape dispenser. This is when I need to use tape for stuff. Okay, so the main bulk of my makeup is in this drawer down here, which actually pulls out from that vanity. So this is really, um, you know, the main reason why I bought this table, because it does look really sleek and elegant, but it is very practical. So these are kind of like compartments. There's like four. This was already with the table. There's four inserts. Okay, so in here I have one of these plastic inserts, and I got this at Ikea. This was like in, I don't know, like the... Co it was part of some closet thing, some organizing area. On this side I have full-size MAC pigments, so I don't eyebrow stuff. And then over here, um, this is a lash curler, and here are a backup of an eyebrow, the eyebrow pencil that I use. These are all eyeshadow bases, or, well, here's a duo lash glue, but most of this is eyeshadow bases, like the Urban Decay and Too Faced, and then these are MAC paints, which I really like. Over here, there's more kind of bases. There's the tattoos, like the Maybelline color tattoos, and then I have my fluid lines over here in a few different colors. Then I have cake eyeliner from Cryolon, and then these are over here. These are from Urban Decay. These are the 24/7. 
um, liquid eyeliner. Back here are all my palettes. So, well, not all of them, but most of them. So, I have the Urban Decay palette. So, this is the, the first one. Then I have my MAC palettes. And what I did with the MAC palettes is I took out the insert, like, you know, the 15, like, little holes, and I put, I depotted some eyeshadows from different brands. So these are different brands. This is some Illamasco stuff. This is Lancome. This is actually a blush. And then these are Catrice. Um, um, another MAC. These are all MAC eyeshadows that I, again, took out the insert. So this is kind of my neutral palette, sort of a more colorful. These are all MAC shadows again, more colorful MAC shadows. And then these are four different sleek palettes. So there's one of them. Um, yeah, so these are sleek palettes. Different colors. And these are these are quite nice. I like working with these. Um, Inglot, the Inglot shadow that I got in New York. This is another. This palette is by Uni. And th these are kind of cool, except the palette is quite small. Like, I think the actual space is way too small for really practical. I use this when I go traveling um, because it is quite small. It does have, like, a nice mirror on there. So these are Krylon eyeshadows, and this one I think is Bobbi Brown. And back here is my Ben Nye palette. So these are all individual ones that I just put together, and this palette is also from Ben Nye. Then another Ben Nye, this is the Lumiere palette, which I love. It's very, um, super colorful. Really, really good pigmentation on these, perfect for any kind of colorful looks. I use it a lot at Halloween time. So this is, um, face products. So this is like my, you know, things that I use all the time for my face. So there's like foundations in here, like NARS Sheer Glow, which I use like all the time. Um, ben Nye Concealer Wheel, which I really like. This is for catching like fallout. Um, I have my Micro Silk HD Powder by Cryolon. Um, what else is in there? Various concealers. There's a matte concealer, um, a Lancome concealer, which I quite like. Um, there are some Lancome and Cryolon stuff in there. Um, this is the new thing by L'Oreal, the Magic Lumi. This is my under eye powder, setting powder by Alverde, which is a German brand. Um, what else do I have? I have a Lancome uh, primer, um, the High Beam Benefit, and then I have some Kabuki brushes because I don't really have a good place to store them. I have some powders, rubber concealer. So these are kind of like my most frequently used um, face product. Over here, these are all my like favorite blushes. So um, back here, these are the MAC, um, like the mineral skin finishes. So these are kind of like the biggest ones. So I have these all back here. I've got um, five of those. And then these are blushers by Illamasca. So this is actually a white one, which is quite cool. But there's a colored one as well. Um, bronzer by Barry M. And another bronzer by Nivea, which I just haven't used in a while. Um, blushers by um, Sleek. Let's put in there. And then these are cream blushes by Urban Decay. So these are the Urban Decay blushers. Um, and then back here, these back here are my NARS blushes. So one, two, three, four, six of those in different colors. So really like NARS blushes a lot. And what else is in here? MAC um, Beauty Powder Blush. Um, and then back here are some more little blushes by La Femme. There is a contouring powder by Ben Nye. There are some Bobbi Brown blushes. MAC Cream Color Bases and Blushes. This is a really nice highlighting powder by Estee Lauder, which I love. Hitting pan on. Okay, in this drawer I am super happy with. I just reorganized this yesterday. Um, I made this my entire like lip collection right here. So back here, these are all lipsticks. So over on this side, this one I arranged by brand. So over here, these are all MAC. Um, and then this over here is like Lancome. Um, back here are Revlon. So that's Revlon. These are Catrice, Ultimate. I have the P2 ones. I have some NYX um, lipsticks back there. These are by Barry M. 
Uh, lime crime. These are quite fun with the kind of unicorn thing. Um, and then I have some drugstore, more drugstore ones like Rimmel are back here and there's some L'Oreal ones back here. And then the front part is lip glosses and a few more lipsticks that didn't fit so I might have to eventually like change this up again. But the lip glosses I decided to kind of organize by color family so I started out with nudes on this side. So these are like nude lip glosses and then it goes into kind of pinks and peach colors and then reds, purples, and kind of any odd colors that didn't really, you know, have much of a place, like this really dark burgundy one by La Masca, or, you know, these ones by Milani, the glitzy glosses, and then I have the sleek, like the, you know, these are, this one is by OCC, but I also have the sleek ones, like the palette paints, like the blue and all the different colors. Um, here and then I also have the Milani like those lip flash pencils which are really really cool to kind of like push these together because you know once I run out more space I can move this but I have kind of odd shaped lip products like I have the NARS um, D Diablo these are the lip lacquer they're in the pot so you can see that there Woo. I have the like the pelt polishes and they come in these kind of pots as well so I put those kind of on the side. Um, so these are three of the Wet n Wild color icons. Um, really, really love these. So I've been wanting to use those in a video. So these are actually eyeshadow palettes, which should go, I guess, with the eyeshadow stuff. But I'm just using them to hold up the lip products until I, you know, fill up this space. On the side of this drawer, as you might have seen, there's kind of like stuff jammed on the side. So these are also foundations that just didn't really have space there. Um, so these are kind of like less used foundations, I guess, like the Neutrogena Healthy Skin, um, Kiehl's. I love this one. Actually, I use this a lot in the summer. This is the Ultra Facial Tinted Moisturizer. I have a primer of Ella Masca. This is the Revlon Color Stay. There's some MAC and Makeup Forever shadows or um, foundations back here. And then back here, I also have to get these out. I have two of these Mayron. Um, these are the aqua colors, so I use these a lot for like Halloween stuff. These are good for face painting and you can use them as an eyeshadow base too, but they're just really colorful. Okay, and on this side, I have more um, random eyeshadow. Some of, these some of these things I need to still depot. So I have a lot of the Catrice ones here, which I actually really like. Um, I need to get a new palette because I wanted to pop these all and put them in a palette. So here are just like random shadows. So I have some of the um, MAC ones, like this is actually a cream color base. Um, this is in Bat Black. It's this one. Oh, I love this. This is the Young Punk. Check that out. Ooh. So pretty. Um, this is from... Yeah, Young Punk. This came out with uh, the black collection. The pill. I only have the black one. Um, there's some. Uh, there's a NARS eyeshadow. This is in Outremer. And then on this side, there are yeah some more Kiko um, shadows. Some NYX shadows. Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. The loose um, powder thingies. Very M. Uh, Dazzle Dusts, which are quite cool. Um, and then I have the L'Oreal Infallible ones that I just did a review on recently. Lancome um, eyeshadows there. Um, NYX palettes. The one is like a bright green one. <laughs> How cool. And the other one is... Um, this is actually one that I used to use quite a lot. This is a really good like neutral palette. Them. So I have here um, another Lancome eyeshadow palette. Um, these are, these big ones are cream foundations and bronzers from Ella Masca. So it's just very, they're very big. I mean, the packaging is really nice, but they just take up a lot of space. So I put those there. And then these two are Bobbi Brown um, Shimmer Bricks. And these are so gorgeous. I should use these more. And then these are some blushers by um, Lancome that are quite nice. And what else is in there? Another one from powder, and then this is, oh yeah, another blush by Barry M. And uh, Clinique, uh, like a highlighting powder that is actually really nice as well. The mixing medium. Here are brush cards. These are absolutely freaking fantastic. I use these all the time. Um, they're really cheap, and they're basically just these plastic things. So if you have your brush, you basically, you know, after you wash them and dry them, you slip them over the brush head, and what happens is that the brush, like the hair, 
dries exactly in the shape that it should instead of you know splaying out especially if you use a lot of like natural bristle brushes which I do um, so these are awesome you can get these from their website it's, I think it's brushguard.com um, so or I'm not sure but just put it into Google brush guard oh yeah like a retractable kabuki brush from Sigma and then back here these are the Illamasqua um, pure pigments so these are really gorgeous like the colors are fantastic. Um, yeah, really, really pretty. And then I have some of the cream, whoops, these are called the cream pigments, which are nice as well as eyeshadow bases. So I have those over there. And then back here, I just have some backups. These are Lilash backups. I'm currently taking a break from Lilash. I want to start from zero again. Two of these, the Lilash lash and the Lilash. So those are back here. They're not even opened yet. All right, and then here on the side, this is my chest of drawers, which I have more stuff in because I was running out of space. So on the top, I have various things. So I really need to figure out like a better way to organize this, but I'm like seriously running out of space. Um, in the back, um, this is my jewelry organizer thingy, which is, again, way too small. I need to get a bit more space. And this is like for earrings. Um, I got this on eBay. So you can put all your um, earrings and stuff on there. Um, back there is this little like decorative uh, painting that I once got from a friend for my birthday or something. And then these are perfumes. So um, I have various perfumes back here. This is the Very Sexy uh, Body Spray by Victoria's Secret. Um, I have the Isai Niake. Um, the L'Imperatrice by Dolce & Gabbana. Woo! You see, I'm like, I need more space. Um, this is the Lancome Trésor. Beautiful bottle. Um, the Dida Von Tease. Um, then I have Chanel Chance. I have two of these. These are like the purse sizes, but I think these are really convenient because you can like twist them up and spray like that. So those are really cool. Um, I have the purse size Dita Von Tees. Um, then the Illamasqua, this is a sample of Illamasqua Freak. Um, then Bulgari, so this, I think it's called Bulgari Omnia. Then I have Stella McCartney. This is the original one, Stella. And yeah, that's it for, and I have some samples down here, but yeah. That's my perfume collection. I know it should be better if they're like in a dark place, but I honestly just don't have space for them. So that's where they are. Over here is more like chunky jewelry, like, um, you know, bracelets, cuffs, um, you know, large kind of necklaces. And I really hate how my jewelry is organized. So I just don't have any space, but it's, I don't know what to do. Like rings, there's rings in here too. These are, you know, more jewelry things, some silver stuff. I don't really know like a good idea of how to organize my jewelry in a way that doesn't, doesn't get dusty and stuff. I mean, I'm, what do you do when you run out of space? Like, I don't know. So on the top drawer, this is all nail stuff. These inserts are again from Ikea. Um, so I have back here, um, you know, top coats, base coats, stuff like that. I have the large, the large size. These are the professional size. I think Sash Vite, which is my top coat of choice. And I have the accompanying um, Sash Restore, the large one. This is the thinner for the Sash Vite in case it gets um, thick. So I got these, I bought these on eBay. And here are all nail files, cuticle, creams. Um, yeah, this is all just like manicure stuff. My nail polish. So this is kind of more, I guess, like high-end, um, you know, brands. Uh, this is all Orly, or I guess not high-end, but just sort of more foreign brands, like brands that I can't buy here in Switzerland. So this is all Orly. Um, the, back here are some Essies, way back there. And then these are Berry M's. Lots of China Glaze on this side, and OPIs back here, or in the front here. Um, these are Zoyas. These are all Illamasca. Love, love, love Illamasca nail polish. It's so 
like long lasting, really awesome colors. Then second drawer of polish, and this is kind of like random drugstore brands. I have a few more of the Elamascas, they just didn't fit on the top anymore, so I have three more Elamascas back here. And then there are BB Couture, and there are some Revlon, um, yeah, I don't know, just random things. H&M, Mabala, so these are really kind of like old different brands. But I have some nail art brushes. Um, nail art brushes back here, those are from eBay, and a bunch of these nail wheels for swatching, and these are also from eBay. Um, so this is Annie, this is the nail polish company that I won the trip with to New York. So they make really cool nail polishes as well that are available at Douglas in Germany. And then back here are, um, uh, what are these called? Creative Nail Design. And then over here is um, Models Own. And um, these are also German drugstore brands like Essence. Um, these are Essence. And then over here is Catrice. So the Catrice ones look like that. Next drawer is not really super exciting. Um, it is a wig. <laughs> I don't even know why this is in here. And over here are more of these kind of like generic, you know, these kind of like inexpensive um, generic palettes, like the double stack and the 88 palettes and, you know, all those palettes. Um, some lip palettes, blush palettes. Um, next drawer is random, some random stuff again. So over here are some like glitters. Um, there's some glitters on that side. Um, these are all mascaras. I know, it's sickening. Um, yeah, some of these I haven't even really used, but I really need to like use these. This side are, again, like finishing sprays from Scandinavia. Um, the, all the three palettes from Sigma, like the Dare, Bear, and Flare palette. So those three are over here. So I have them kind of on that side. This is my hair uh, drawer, which totally is, you know, needs to be, I guess, reorganized. But I haven't really gotten to that point yet. So, um, yeah, I have the Sebastian molding mat. And then this is the, these are kind of like the three hair tools that I use the most frequently. This is the GHD. I use this all the time. And some Milano, the one inch clipless and the one and a half inch. This is by a German brand called Mojo. Those are the kind of like you know, my most frequently used hair tools. Also my hot rollers, but my hot rollers are stored in my bathroom. Um, over here are duplicates. Some of these things are duplicate products. Um, back here is my back to Mac box, back to Mac stuff. The rest of this is all like back to Mac things, like empties, so I can get um, free lip lipstick yeah. to put on your nails, like the nail tips. Those are quite cool. The last drawer is stuff um, again, random stuff. Um, more wigs, more palettes, stuff for giveaways, which I really should give away, but I haven't got around to it yet. And then over here, this is like the original kind of like extra storage space I had. This is just like this plastic thing that looks really ugly, but it fits perfectly under here. Or is these are mostly like Halloween things. So there is like the Krylon like character wheels. There's actually a pair of glasses in there. Things for making textures on your face. Yeah, kind of sort of more of the creative stuff. Um, this is glitters, um, glitters and loose pigments. So there's the rainbow stack that I have from a company that's discontinued. The all the lit glitters, which I really like. Those are really nice. Like this is all kind of cosmetic glitter. Um, there's some putty, some clown makeup, rhinestones. So this is yeah, definitely more kind of like my Halloweeny stuff. Lashes. This whole drawer is pretty much lash. It's seriously like the whole drawer is just lashes. Um, yeah, lashes. <laughs> and another like random drawer that, I don't know, there's like a cape for cutting hair. There's a big feather. There is actually an airbrush machine and I just never use, I just never airbrush use it anymore because it's just a pain to clean it. But um, alcohol for sanitizing stuff. I have the Sigma, um, these are the travel, like the travel, um, brush rolls that you can, you know, take with you if you go on a trip somewhere. The old train case, and there's really not much of interest in there. I think it's just like cosmetic, um, it's just 
just like cosmetic bags and stuff. And then down here, I just um, temporarily put things that were sent to me for review. So um, I have the brush, um, those brushes from Sigma, the new ones, like Extravaganza Collection brushes by Sigma. Um, samples from uh, one of my favorite makeup companies ever, Cryolon. Really looking forward to that, and I'm definitely going to be, you know, doing a review on those at some point. So this is also the area where I, where I edit my videos, so it's like my little office space. So here I am in my sweatpants. Anyway, so yeah, um, I have my desk here with my computer. I edit all my videos on an iMac. This uh, table is from Ikea and it has been discontinued. This is from the Malm line, M-A-L-M, -M, but they don't make this exact size anymore. This was like their original one. It's really big and long. They do make one that's about half as big as this one and then this piece over here this is like a chest of drawers um, I don't know how many drawers there are but there's a lot of drawers and this is perfect for uh, makeup storage and stuff like that um, and this one is also by IKEA and this is from the Alex line okay so what you're seeing here is a mirror and this is actually, you know, because my vanity is right against the wall. So I really wanted to get some better lighting for my videos. And the best, of course, is to have video, like the light, like professional light, like soft boxes right in front of you that are shining on your face. Um, but since I can't do that here, what I did is I bought these lamps. Um, these are actually like these ones right here. Um, and I have another one here so I have two of those and what I do is these are actually like lamps that you use for like construction sites and stuff they're 500 watts each so it's a thousand watts together um, and what I do is I set them up um, right here like I set them like right there on either side so I have one here and one here and then what I do is I covered up this mirror area. So what you're seeing here, this is just white paper. And what happens is it reflects against the white paper. This does a much better than the job in actually reflecting against the mirror. So, you know, when I originally bought this mirror, I didn't need, you know, I didn't really think about lighting and stuff because I wasn't even filming videos at that point. So these lamps up here, these two are from Ikea and they're just like halogen spotlights and they really don't do anything. I completely regret buying those. But you know, when I got started with this, I really had no idea about lighting. So those really don't do a very good job of lighting up my face at so all. So that's why I bought this thing and this is like um like a halogen bright uh, light and this just kind of gives like a cool light I guess and that really helps with the other lamps that I have shining there. The only thing is that it gets super hot um, especially in the summer I can't use these big lights because I'm just sweltering. The lamps really heat up and you know it, it looks great on video and stuff but you have no idea how hot it gets in this room just filming and having all that lighting. Okay so that's actually it for this collection video and I really hope you enjoyed it. I have really just try to pare down my collection in like the last couple months I've given away so much makeup to friends and to family because I was just you know overwhelmed with all the things that I just wasn't using so I gave away a lot of stuff and I'm just really happy with how it is organized now like I'm looking forward to trying out a lot of products that I just kind of forgotten about and they were just kind of sitting in a drawer and I just never even remembered that I had them see you very soon bye bye or maybe like this bye bye <laughs> see you soon guys